This is part three of the October series, Death Cars. Did Sam Kinison talk to God? Wild Thing comedian Sam Kinison was born in Washington in 1953 and moved to Illinois at only a few months old. He was a sweet, calm child until the age of three when he was hit by a car and suffered brain damage. This altered his personality, and many think that this is why he was so blunt about his life on stage. Sam moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma after his parents divorced and considered Tulsa his home. Sam and his brothers followed in their father's footsteps and became Pentecostal preachers. Sam preached until age 24. He had a fire and brimstone style that included his trademark yell. His brother Bill said, however, that Sam had no stage presence, ironically. Sam made very little money preaching, and between that and his first divorce, he decided to no longer pursue it and to instead pursue comedy. As he said later, the ministry is a hard thing to live up to. It was probably why I got into the vulgarity so much, because it was just such a trip to be able to live it out. Sam took up comedy and joined a Houston-based comedy group, Texas Outlaw Comics, which also included comedian Bill Hicks. Hicks stated, He was the first guy I ever saw to go on stage and not in any way ask the audience to like him. Kinnison moved to L.A. in 1980, hoping to make it big and to work at the comedy store. He instead was a doorman and didn't really get his big break until his brother Bill moved out to L.A. to manage him. In 1985, he was invited to be on HBO's Rodney Dangerfield's ninth annual Young Comedian Special. He later also debuted on Late Night TV with David Letterman. His crass, satirical, and observational humor was raucous, often sacrilegious, and undeniably funny, and loud, and offensive to many. And then that doesn't happen to have kids. Have you seen those guys? Those guys in the malls with the strollers? Have you seen them? With that look on their face like they envy the dead? He rose to fame, earning two gold albums and 50 k per appearance, and with that came substance abuse. His appearances started becoming lackluster, and he even had to be revived with oxygen tanks at one point. He became too much of a risk, and both MTV and HBO backed away from him in 1990. By 1992, though, Kinison claimed he had his addiction under control. Life was looking up. He had a two-picture deal cooking with New Line Cinema and a variety show in the works with Fox, and he had just married Malika Swiri, who was 27. On the evening of April 20th, 1992, with his new bride next to him in his 1989 Pontiac Turbo Trans Am, Kinnison was on his way to Nevada for a sold-out show at the Riverside Casino. A 17-year-old driving a pickup truck was driving drunk, crossed the center line, and collided head-on with Kinnison. After the impact, the driver of the truck reportedly exclaimed, Look at my truck! Kinnison stumbled from his car. Kinnison's brother and friend Carl LeBove had been following behind Kinnison and told him to lie down and relax. Outwardly, Kinnison looked okay, but per his brother, he was pushed between the seats of the car. Kinnison collapsed and began looking off into the distance, speaking to whatever it was that he saw. I don't want to die. I don't want to die, he exclaimed. He then asked, but why? And then paused again to listen. Okay, 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 Kinnison then responded. The last okay was so soft and at peace, said Lebov. Whatever voice was talking to him gave him the right answer, and he just relaxed with it. He was so sweet, like he was talking to someone he loved. Many speculate that he was communicating with God. Kinnison then died and couldn't be resuscitated. He had suffered from a dislocated neck, torn aorta, and torn blood vessels within his ab abdominal cavity. His wife suffered a concussion. The boy who caused the crash was charged with vehicular manslaughter and gross negligence and sentenced to 300 hours of community service and a year's probation. He was released to the custody of his parents. As for the fate of the car, our research could not determine whether the car is currently still here or whether it was junked. If you happen to know, please do comment.